Listen, I don't like playing games. This wasn't easy. I got some real specialized metal here. Show me. Got your Sawyers. Your Roger A3s. A real improvement over the Uzi, if you ask me. And this baby here. These bad boys don't grow on trees. What are you gonna hit? Fort Knox? You really wanna know? I don't wanna know nothing. Let's just do the money thing and then I'm out of here. What's your hurry? I'm serious. I don't wanna know who you are. I don't wanna know what you're doing. As a matter of fact, I ain't even seen your face. You know what I'm saying? Hey, relax, I trust you. So, what are we waiting for? One o'clock from Boston. know its warranty is up? Tony, please feed the baby. Uh, well, how much? Are you kidding? Look, I have one hour to grade 20 tests. I need some help here. Uh, 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 I'll call you back. <laughs> I'll take care of Sarah. You use my office. Ow, it looks like a bomb went off in there. I can't even see the desk. It's tax time. I don't have a single place to work, and you've got two offices. We're gonna make you your own office. Oh, yeah, right. You've been talking about that for two years. We can't afford it yet. That's who? I earn money, too, you know. You're welcome to check the accounts anytime. Maybe I would if I could find it on your desk. You know what, Tony? I am an equal in this house. I am not one of your employees. Scally. All right, I'll be right there. You leaving? Now? They found the body by the railroad tracks. Oh, that is terrific. That is just wonderful. Now I can take care of her, too? You know what, Tony? Maybe I should go down to the bank and get myself along. Do what you want. Well, I will. Fine. Fine! One shot from close range. Marty puts the time of death between midnight and three. Jonathan Thorne, Jack the Getter. Jack could get you anything you wanted, cars, guns, drugs. I put him away twice. Ground was wet last night. We got good footprints, tire treads, We're taking impressions. Lots of overlapping footprints. Whoever killed Thorne must have been waiting for him here and then took off from Thorne's car. 
uh, put an APB out on his license plates. Did you see the FBI bullet in Gary Sperling? A one-man crime wave. Well, this matches his M.O. Uh, he picks a town, hooks up with the local for his firepower, kills him. He usually sticks around long enough to make a big score, then he moves on. Bolton said he hit a jewelry exchange in Woodlawn last month. That puts him in the neighborhood. Get his description out to all units. I'm going to notify the feds, too, OK? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Should we notify the feds as well? Yeah, uh, call Miller in the field office. Is everything OK? Yeah, I just had a rough morning. Let's say we agreed to add on another office to the house. The existing mortgage plus a home equity payment, ballpark, your monthly increase, 10 15%. That much? Money well spent, Rachel. An extension adds permanent value to the house. I'll have to think about it. Well, talk to Tony, then get back to me. I'm sure when you're Mr. talking Drake. about it. When did you plan to call me? I've been leaving messages for you all week. Now, what's the problem? Excuse me, Rachel. The problem is you won't take no for an answer. If you would just listen to me for five I minutes. did, Mr. Patterson. I listened to you very carefully. And I can't give you a loan. Because instead of collateral, I've got an idea. Sorry. Mr. Patterson, I am asking you to leave. Listen, any monkey with a calculator can say you don't have collateral. It takes guts and imagination to judge a man on his ideas. <laughs> Much as I hate cliches, Jesse James said it best. Put him up. And I'd step away from that little red button under your desk. <laughs> Behave. And tonight, you'll be home telling your families about this over dinner. Misbehave. And you won't. Gary Sperling was doing life in a federal penitentiary until he decided he wasn't impressed by their security. So he escaped. Since then, he's been making his way up the coast. Uh, you guys almost caught him last month in Woodlawn. It was close, but he got away. And he killed two of our agents in the process. So this is personal? This is real personal. My division head's already on his way here. Brandon Wright came up from Washington. Some of us wish he had stayed there. Well, it's a little early to call in the cavalry. I mean, we're not even sure it's Sperling. Boss, 911 has someone on a payphone. He says he's standing across the street from the Eastbridge National Bank watching it get robbed. All available units out there now, but no one on the line of sight of the bank. I want this guy outside before he sees us. Here. Don't bother with anything smaller than 20s. You, sir, tell these nice people not to trigger the alarm built into their cash drawers, or they'll have a dead boss. You heard him. Good boy. I can take him if he gets close enough. Let him take the money and leave. <gasps> I can't breathe. It's hard. Do you have medicine? At home? It's going to be OK. Come on. It's almost over.
Commissioner, we got the east side secure. No one fires a shot until I give the all clear. No one breathes. We got to get those maintenance guys out of the way. They're my cops. We're all set on the roof, boss. Can you get a count on the people inside the bank? No, I can't see through the shades. Stay ready. Got any suggestions? You're doing everything I thought of, and a few things I didn't. Well, I'll be off now. As the good book says, money answereth all things. Ecclesiastes. No one moves for three minutes, and we stay friends. Trigger an alarm after I leave, and let's just say I'll make it my business to find you. Ciao. May we never meet again. Here he comes. He's alone. As soon as he's clear, we announce ourselves. If he tries to go back inside the bank, take him out. Changing plans. But look on the bright side. We're all going to get to know each other a lot better. Company. I want a dedicated line into the bank. Okay. Are there any skylights or back doors? None visible. All right, get the plans from county records. He was out the door and in the clear. Why did he start shooting? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Everyone listen up. As long as the police don't do anything stupid, the chances of you all surviving are actually quite good. Where does it hurt? Across my chest, down my arm. Her pulse is getting weaker. I hate to interrupt, but it's usually a good idea to listen to a guy holding a gun. This woman might be having a heart attack. And? She needs a doctor. You have to let her go. You have things switched around. You see, I decide what has to be done. As long as you have the gun. That's right, suit. You got a problem with that? No problem. Look, if she dies, that would be murder. <laughs> Life is but a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. Leo DeRocher said that when his team What's was What's the out. matter with you? Whoever you are, you must have had a mother. You know, I don't think I did. Right on schedule. Vito's Kitchen, your pizza in 30 minutes or it's free. This is Police Commissioner Scali. Good afternoon. This is... Well, you know who it is, don't you? No, tell me. Goodbye, Commissioner. We'll talk when you're ready to stop playing games. All right, Gary. There we go. Are my federal friends out there getting all hot and bothered? It's just you and me, Gary. Not for long. All I care about is the people inside. Let them out, and everything will go smoothly. Uh, yeah, for you, I'm sure. I have uh, 10 hostages, possibly soon to be nine. If somebody's hurt? There's an old woman having a heart attack or so, I'm told. Uh, give me the 10, and I'll give you anything you want. Anything. 
What you're saying, Commissioner, is I'm the man? Well, I got a whole street full of people just waiting for you to tell us what you need. Talking to you, I feel powerful. I, I want to trust you. Eventually, I'll even want to take your advice. I've read the psychology books, too, Commissioner. Save it. I want one thing to get out alive. There's a small airport 15 miles east. I want a Gulf Wing 380 Gaston waiting, a pilot, and a gold Rolls Royce to drive to the airport. Why? Because I've always wanted to be driven to the airport in a gold Rolls. <laughs> Look, this is a small town. It's about to get smaller by, say, half the people in this bank. Let them go, and I'll give you the car and the plane. Do I actually have to kill a hostage before you realize I'm not a fool? If you want something, you gotta give me something. The old lady, that's it. What's your name? Spell it. R A C H E L. The old fashioned way. Excellent. I hate trendy spellings, and I, where there ought to be a Y and E for no reason at all. Rachel, you've just earned the honor of delivering your friend here outside. But if you don't come back, I kill two people. These are the renovation plans. Where are the originals? I know. County records are still trying to find them. Oh. I've got more bad news. Gary's not going to be very happy. There's not much money in there. The Federal Reserve ships currency to our local banks once a week. Gary missed the armored car shipment by two hours. Tony, this is Brandon Wright. Brandon, Commissioner Scott. Sounds like you got our man in there. There's a federal SWAT team ten minutes behind me. I'll be commandeering local forces from all the surrounding towns. I think that's premature. I don't. Also, I'll be taking over negotiations with Gary, effective now. Well, he and I are already talking. It makes sense to keep it that way. Look, Commissioner, this is a federal case. This is split jurisdiction, and you know it. Tony, someone's coming out. See about alone. Thank God you're out. Let's go. I can't. What? He said he's gonna kill two people if I don't go back in. But he's bluffing. You wouldn't let that woman go unless he was afraid of having a dead hostage. He isn't afraid. He's not afraid of anything. That's what he wants you to think. Anything could happen if you go back in there. Come with me. I can't. Rachel. If people die in there because of me, I would never forgive myself. Does he know who you are? No. Everybody in there is okay so far. I gotta go. Rachel! Welcome back. We were taking bets. Get up. And what were we chatting with the cops about? The weather, the latest scores? He wanted to know if everybody was over. You tell the cops nothing! You got that? Just so long as we understand each other. Yeah? Yeah, we're green here. Go for it. We had an argument this morning, a stupid argument. That's why she was in the bank. What did you find out from the hostage? No one's hurt. Well, what else? Does he have them in a group? Are they separated? What kind of firepower does he I don't... have? No. Well, did you ask? I didn't have time. Well, it seems to me you had plenty of time. Brandon, the hostage is his wife. Oh. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Commissioner. Now look, if one of your cop's wives was involved in a hostage situation, you know what you'd do. You'd take him off the operation. Forget it. You can't be objective. Neither can you. You want this guy so bad you can taste it. You're escalating the situation because of it. Have John rig up a long wave transponder, make the transmitter as small as possible, and get us the receiver. Gary? I'm hungry. You want to eat? You give me another hostage. Give me food, I won't kill a hostage. Actually, I think everyone's hungry, right? This is your chance, people. My treat, takeout, anything you want. From any restaurant? From 10 different restaurants. Who cares? We have the entire police force as delivery boys. What'd you say your name is? Skelly? Italian, right? When the moon hits your eye like a big piece of pie. Um, I'll have a nice manicotti at the restaurant of your choice. Anyone else for pasta? Something else? Come on, it's now or never. There's a Greek place over on 63rd Drive. They've got a nice souvlaki plate. Done. One souvlaki plate from the Greek place on 63rd Drive. Who else? I'd like one. Make it two. Let's go. Keep the orders coming. This will take a couple of minutes. Of course. And Commissioner? Have something on me. I don't like it. He doesn't expect you to. No. He should want to get out of there. As soon as possible, not stick around for lunch. He's stalling, burning time. I don't know why. Yeah, well, let me know when you do. And Commissioner, my men will take in the food. Gary must know by now that there isn't much cash in the bank. Why isn't he asking us for more money? Maybe he will. But he knows we'd need time to get it together. And do you see any pay phones? That 911 caller said they were at a payphone across the street watching the robbery as it happened. But that's not possible. The only thing I can think is that Gary had someone to make the call. Because he wants to get trapped in there? Doesn't make sense. I know. Why is this happening? You're all wondering, but you're too polite to ask. I'll tell you. Evolution. All you have to do is read the newspaper. Scientists are finding more and more we are who we are because of our parents and their parents back through the Neanderthals and the apes and the primordial slime. Genetics, destiny, fate, call it what you like. We can't escape who we are. Or what we do. You believe that? Sending someone out. Rachel, I like your style. So get the food for us, okay? And no chatting this time. I'm going to count to 30. And if you're not back by the time I'm done, he dies. Please. Sorry, change of plans. He's telling me, 
Tony has got a cellular phone. He talked to somebody outside the bank. There's a transmitter hidden on the edge of the cart here. If he's going to start shooting, press it and we'll come in. But only as a last resort. Take this. He touched it. Hold it right there. You're clean. See if the cops tried to hide anything in the food. Nice stunt, Scally. I'm pulling you off the operation. You're obstructing a federal investigation. You're not investigating. You're reacting. Don't you realize things don't add up? He's playing with you. If you refuse to bow out, I'll arrest you on federal authority. Now, the choice is yours. All right. It's your operation. Tony, he can't arrest you. I know. I'd win in court tomorrow or next week. Meanwhile, what happens to Rachel? I've got to stay. Whatever I have to do, I'll live with it. But I've got to stay. Truth is, I don't want to be here any more than you do. Don't you think I'd rather have a, a job and a family and a house with a two-car garage? That was never an option for me because I wasn't born right. Sure, this is the land of opportunity. If you come from the right family and you get the right chances, but this is really two countries, and only one of them is the America they taught us about in school. It's the haves on one side and the have-nots on the other. And the haves don't want anything to change. That's right. The system's rigged. All I wanted was a loan. They treated me like a beggar. Shut up! You shut up, suit. Got a light? How much were you trying to borrow? Lousy 5,000. Here. I can't take that. Why not? Hey, everybody. Dig in. Come on, this is the only chance you'll ever have to get an interest-free loan from a bank. Suit, close your eyes now. Go ahead, folks. No witnesses. Feds are gonna try and take him out on the way to the airport. Wright's got every inch of the room covered. He's pulling guys from everywhere. Keep our people in position uh, and get to the phone company. I want to listen in on Wright and Gary. All right. Now this is one beautiful piece of machinery. Nine millimeter, 12 rounds. Used by police departments the world over. Take it, Mr. Patterson. Take a shot.
Take a shot. What? At the bank. Come on, it'll feel good after everything they've done to you. Go ahead. Just go easy on the trigger. Just squeeze, don't pull. Come on! Good job. <laughs> Goodbye, Sue. No! Wait. He's got a family. Really? Sure hope he got insurance. He has two children. Please, look, we have done everything that you asked us to. He made a mistake. That's all it was. He shouldn't have to die for that. You got a lot of guts, lady. Yeah. Good. Oh, I got the prints from the mug back. That's not Sperling. My wife got us the guy's prints. That's not Sperling. And who is it? We don't know yet. But it's not Sperling. So he's just pretending to be? Yes. Why, Tony? To get our attention away from something else. He wanted to be trapped in the bank, and he wanted us to believe he's Gary Sperling. And draw the entire bureau down on him? It's ridiculous. Then how do you explain the prints? It's a mistake. God knows where the prints came from. All we have is your wife's word, and neither one of you are thinking clearly. My wife heard him on a cellular phone talking to someone on the outside. We need to make a list of potential targets. We need to figure out what he's diverting us from. Didn't I order you off this operation once, Scally? It's Gary. Federal agent, right? All right. We'll be waiting. He's releasing the hostages. No thanks to you. Ladies and gentlemen, as much fun as it's been, it's time to go home. But if I let all of you go, the police are going to try to kill me. <laughs> Law enforcement personnel are funny that way. So one of you gets the pleasure of my continued company. And that someone will be... You. Why me? Because you're a jerk. Because you're a local big shot, so the cops will be extra careful. And because when the time comes to get rid of you, I'll enjoy it. Well, wait a minute. We don't have a minute. I mean, I, I mean, pick her. I mean, she's better insurance than me. She's the police commissioner's wife. You miserable, groveling, cringing maggot. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. She saved your life. On the other hand, he's got a good point. Looks like I gotta take you. Three out so far. Four. Five. 
She's the one he's keeping. He found out she's your wife. Hands behind you. Turned out to be a big day for you, right? That's life. Much thinking and planning as anyone does. No one knows what any one day is going to bring. Except for you. Very insightful. See, I plan everything for every contingency. I don't believe in luck. Luck is the residue of design. Casey Stengel. Agent Wright? All right, what's next, Gary? I don't know. You don't know. I, uh, I hadn't thought things through this far. Don't pressure me. There's no pressure. You got your car, got your plane, let your hostages go, you're on the way. I need some time to think. He's buying more time. But you got half an hour. Make it an hour, I'll call you. Has the planning department found the original plans yet? I'll check again. Uh, talk to all the cops along the route, make sure they know who the hostage is. All right. Mr. Scally, take the bag! Take the bag! Stop! Ah! Ah! What the hell are you doing? Go! Go! Back, let's go. She's gone. So's he. What? Bank is empty, no one's here. All the police within 30 miles are around that bank waiting for me. <laughs> and they'll keep waiting while I think. Who are you? I mean, really? It's very good, Rachel. <laughs> You're way ahead of the cops. Idiots, all of them. Nothing personal against your husband, but people with real brains don't become cops. No money in it. And the hours, he puts in what, 50, 60 a week? I work once every three years. Everything in position? Let's move. When we're finished, I can't let you go and have you send in the cops after us. Now, I could take you along, but that'd be inconvenient, which leaves me with only one other alternative. And I think you know what that is. I'm sorry, Rachel. I guess you just married the wrong guy. These buildings were heated by forced air fed in through tunnels. He knew about it because he was the one who probably stole the original plans for Connie Records. Well, then we'll, we'll follow the tunnel, find him and your wife. He's long gone. Where? To his real target. He's taken so many cops off regular duty and protective detail, he could be hitting anything from here to Manhattan. Well, then we'll compile a list, like you said. 
already done. There are more than 30 potential targets. There's too many. We'd... We have to assume that he's going after the biggest, and that's the Federal Reserve currency shipment. An armored truck filled with fresh cash for all the banks in this area is headed into town with no police protection and God knows how many millions. That's where I'll bet we'll find them. Armored cars are in radio contact. We'll track them down. We'll do nothing. He's got my wife, and that makes this my jurisdiction. Here they come. Let's move. Jimmy, we're being hit. Call for backup. for police backup, but I'm afraid the local talent is all tied up in a bank robbery. So it's just you, me, and this armor-piercing missile. So I want you to come out with your hands over your heads. I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Very shrewd, you're quite right. The missile would destroy the currency. Excellent decision. shot as it is. Call from the feds. The guy's name was Vincent Spears. Pulled off the 88 Brinks job in the payroll heist in Geneva in 91. In other words, he was big. They don't come much bigger. The guy was so good they didn't even have a fingerprint on him. Until now. It took us both, but we got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rachel, I've been thinking, uh, 
Let's make it a rule never to go away mad, thinking we'll patch it up later. Because... Because... I have beer later. And about that office. Oh. We're going to build it this month. I think we should just wait till we can afford it. We'll find a way to afford it. It's no big deal. We'll just... Mm. 